There are certain people without whom it would be very hard to turn an honest penny as a gossip columnist or a paparazzo. My next two guests have been keeping the muckrakers in clover for several years now. He's 52, she's nearly 19, and they got married today. Bill Wyman and Mandy Smith. <laughs> Kept that very quiet. It came as an enormous shock to yeah. Fleet Street because all the photographers were outside, and if they were obviously in the wrong place. They weren't up at the wedding. <laughs> That's right. where, where did you actually get married? In Bury St. Uh, well, in Bury St. Edmunds. Yeah. Yeah. Bury registry. Yes. Yeah. And so, yeah, we, why, why did you do it so secretly then? Well, why? the thing was that we had we've got the blessing on the Monday because we couldn't actually get married in the church. Yeah. So. Um, you know, we did it in the registry office today. But we always kept that secret. We always said it was happening on Monday. Yeah. And we almost fooled everybody. <laughs> well, the one newspaper got there. It was a... That's all. They won't like you for this, Bill. <laughs> they <laughs> they like us anyway, do they? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, well, they, they must love you. You, you make them... Uh, do you see they sell a lot of papers outside? on you. Oh. Yeah. Well, when you were coming in, there was an enormous crowd of people out there, yeah, photographers. Yeah. It's like being back in the 60s. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, you enjoy it, though. Come on, own up. Oh, you I do, do, you yeah. do like the fuss, don't you? Well, I do like to be left alone sometimes as well. You know, but that doesn't happen very much. Well, you don't actually help. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you like the fuss, Mandy? Oh. Well, it's like, as you said, you like your privacy as well, but yeah. it's, it's excitement, you know, it's, it's great. Was it, was it just a very quick registry office? Yeah, it was oh, like yeah, marriage. It's like the normal thing that everybody 15 does. Fifteen minutes, wasn't it? Minutes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and here you are, Manuel, do you feel... If I'd have known that was that easy, I would have done it a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> do, you feel, do you feel different? Yeah. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Complete. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. Kind of sort of Darby and Joan figure, really. <laughs> <laughs> there was an awful lot in the papers, but who proposed to who? Well, she asked me to get engaged. No, hang I... on a minute. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> there was an argument about this last night, actually. <laughs> no. Um, Let's get it straight here now, Bill. Come on. When we decided to get back together, I sort of said, well, we have to make some sort of commitment because I just don't want to just go back out with you. And... Yeah. So I said, OK, why don't we get engaged? And then. Then the next day, when we were talking again, I was in the Bahamas at the time. The next day when we were talking, I said, well, if we're going to get engaged, why don't we get married? About Christmas, you know, after the tour. And she said, uh, well, why not uh, before the tour? Mm. So there we were. Because you might have got cold feet, knowing him. <laughs> you are. She's the only one with cold feet. Yeah. Has she got cold feet? Yeah. Always. <laughs> well, you, you, that's all right, you know that, because you're married now. That's all right. <laughs> I, I was feeling them in the car on the way. <laughs> Not now, Bill, not now. I know what you like. <laughs> After nine o'clock is OK. Now, did you... You proposed a thousand, thousands of miles separated. You, were yeah. you actually on your knees at the time? Uh, I hope not. I think I might have been... No, I think I was on the loo, actually. But... <laughs> God, you're a romantic fool, aren't you? I mean, really. What? I'm used to you, it. You, yeah. This is why you wanted him, really. It's for his romantic so nature, romantic. yes. Mm. Look at is this, he... the first time I've worn a suit in 25 years. Look at it. I, look, <laughs> I feel like George Raft. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> he's, made, Ty, look, Ty. he's made sacrifices for you. He's, he's yeah. made, hasn't he? Yeah, Got into his suit. Right. What do you think of the old woman, anyway? <laughs> well, it's the first time. It's the first time of a... She's very well preserved, isn't she? <laughs> she yeah. 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 And you too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, what's, what's his attraction? <laughs> well, answer the man. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> what, what do you. I mean, he won't blush. Well, what, do you like, what do you like about him? Um, he's very charming. Very charming. I've never noticed that. I kind. <laughs> Actually, he's a very kind person. Yeah. Very kind. And what do you like about Mandy? What was it about Mandy? I mean, you've, let's face it, you, 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 you have been out with one or, one or two people. Never mind the audience, yeah. we've got a couple of people. What do I like? I, I was just smitten the first time I saw her. It's just like magic. It just like blew me away. But is she a good cook? Never recovered. You're a good cook? Are you a homemaker? I don't know. Are you a needlewoman? Yeah. Are you? Yeah, she gives me the needle or something. 
Now, you're going to make sacrifices for us. I, I saw some of you are going to give yes. up smoking because... You didn't. You Not didn't. yet. Didn't. Not yet. No. I said I couldn't stand it. Can you imagine after how many years you've been smoking? Don't start nagging him already. No. <laughs> Only marry the no, half No, what I'm saying is he would have 34 years happy. I've been smoking. It's imagine a bit Imagine trying to give up sort of like that and then I, I'd be the one... Mm. He'd kill me, wouldn't he? Yeah, I've given up everything <laughs> after 34 years, you know. Well, it's about time. Oh, no. <laughs> That's what everybody says. <laughs> and you're going to give up your address book as well. Can I have it? <laughs> I was thinking of auctioning it at Sotheby's. Yeah, you get a price for it too. No, I tore it up actually. You're gonna, yeah, burn it. I did. Burn it. This is, this is forever, isn't it? I, th I hope so. Yeah. That's what it's about, isn't it? Yes. No, we're very happy. Yes, very, it is. It's very yeah. nice. And it, you, how did you manage to organise? You've got a very big, you've got the blessing. Yes, the blessing on Monday. On Monday. And yeah. you got. You well, we always said that was the wedding, just to confuse the paparazzi and the, the press. But we did the wedding secretly, and, and now we have the blessing, which is like a church ceremony. To get their own back on you, because they mightn't turn up for the blessing. How would you feel about that? <laughs> That'd be great. Look. You like that, you? Yeah. Some peace and quiet. Yeah. So everybody we invited will still come Monday, and we'll still have a great time on Monday. They're quite worried. People have been phoned up saying, they got married today, so the wedding's not on Monday. Oh, well. Don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, the big do. It, it can we have a look at the ring? We can. We just... <laughs> where, where, There's two there, look. Where are we going? There you are, yes. There's two there. You spent a, a penny or two on that, Bill. <laughs> but it was worth it, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, it's very nice. I'm not pretty. into jewellery, but there you are. Yeah. Who's. I mean, I. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is mine, look. Yeah. Well, but yeah, it's good. He's got. Oh, hang on. I want everybody to have a look at that. Please, for future reference. I said it's super glued on. <laughs> <laughs> you put it on with super glue, did you? Good girl. Yeah. Are you, are you, are you going to get married in white? Long train? That's a secret. Blessed. He's not We're married. You're married, yes, yeah. but yeah. I, yeah. Um, I don't know. This is a secret what yeah, colour. He's not what, will, you be, will you be getting married in white? No, I'm not. not I haven't got a cricket match that day. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> and who's your best man? My son. Stephen. Stephen. He's older than Mandy, isn't he? He is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's her son in law. It's quite I'm funny, my, really. My oh. Your son in law. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and I mean, uh, uh, and the man's person. mother is his grandmother. <laughs> Mandy's. Yes, Mandy's. <laughs> Mandy's mother is younger than you. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's confusing. <laughs> it? Now, are you going to give a speech at the, at the do? Oh, I dread it. I dread it. I can play in front of 100,000 people without any sort of sensitivity yeah. at all, but. To stand up in front of 30 people and talk. Yeah. It's very difficult. Will the, will the Stones be coming? Yeah, they're all coming, yeah. They're all in yeah. town, aren't they? They send us a beautiful bouquet of flowers Wonderful. today. Yeah. Will they be playing at the, at the Blessing? Uh, well, we're having the thing afterwards and they may jam. I think. Well, we've got, we got various in. people like Clapton and all that kind of thing. Did you have a, a stag be. knife? Yeah. yeah. You look OK. Yeah. When, when did you have that? <laughs> Last Thursday. About three weeks ago. <laughs> Time to recover, you know. Yeah. And you, did you have a hen knife? I did. Yeah. We, we actually had it on the same night and then we met up at the end. So we had quite a good time. We met up in the end, had an argument and went home yeah. separately. <laughs> <laughs> that's what stag nights yeah. and yeah. 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 Now, I mean, have you, you met, you're always, you've been writing these memoirs of yours yeah. for some time now. Have you nearly finished them? Yes, I have. But now I'm working with the Stones for the next six months. Yeah. So we're doing this big tour of America. Yeah. So it's going to be quite hard for us because, mm. um, He's going away, so. I'm, I'm going away. We go away on honeymoon and then uh, I don't come back. But you've been making records. <laughs> Just, ever. Well, not ever, but um, <laughs> I don't come back till Christmas. Yeah. Because I'm on tour and everything, oh, wow. so Amanda's going to come out and visit. But I was going to say, absence can make the heart grow, grow mm. fonder, can Grow fonder. Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> shouldn't have had that sausage roll. <laughs> uh, you've been singing yourself, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I have. I've made an album, a few singles, but nothing's happened here but all over Europe. Yeah? Got a new single out at the moment. And Good. you're big in Japan? Yeah. <laughs> you're about so, medium-sized here. Yes, right. <laughs> They're small medium, people. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, my new single's out at the moment. Anybody's big in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, look, it's good of you to, to come in on this, this the happiest day of your lives. I hope you'll have every Thank happiness you. in the future. But stay much. with us anyway for a good moment. That's Bill and Mandy. <laughs>
I think I probably should sit between them from now on, but as we meet now one of the biggest and certainly one of the longest names in the movies, star of Solomon and Sheba, Never So Few, uh, Buona Sera, Mrs. Campbell, Trapeze, the original tempestuous Italian lovely who once kissed Errol Flynn in a film for three minutes. She loved it. <laughs> he caught jaundice. <laughs> She was one of my first guests on Wogan 250 years ago, and I'm delighted to welcome back Gina Lola Brigida. Ciao, Bill. Ciao, Mandy. That's the nice. first we've had. Huh? The first yeah. confetti. First confetti we've had. That's a friend. That's why I'm here. Yeah. You know, Bill. Yes. You, you saw a long the, time ago. You saw the. You saw the. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as a friend, well, you've seen the. Storm. I mean, of course, I, I know him. As uh, you know, many people many people knows him. So, yeah. what's wrong with that? I know also Mandy. So, That's okay. nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Don't. <laughs> Don't pander, don't pander to them. Yeah. Wait, have, have you seen the Stones perform? You saw the Stones perform, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. They came in Rome a long time ago, 60s. and uh, mm. yes, and there were a lot of guests there. there were a lot of uh, stars. I remember was Bardu, was um, mm. uh, some others, uh, but uh, they were very difficult, and they allowed just me to go to see them. So I was very, very pleased. Is uh, <laughs> is Gina in your? Little book. <laughs> Her phone number is yeah because we. Yeah. Met, we <laughs> no, but we met we met in Spain in the sixties. We met in New York a couple yes. of times yes, and in Rome. Have, so and have, she uh, gave me her number because she said if you ever come to Rome, you're welcome because mm. she yes. was doing great photographs at that time. She's. I mean, you're, you're still taking photographs, aren't of you? Of course. Yeah, because yes. that's your your new trade. Your great. That's talent. my pleasure. It's not my work. Isn't my it? work is movie. Yeah. But uh, for the. For the photography is love. It's different. Yeah. It's good. I spend money there. You look at you look at Mandy. She's she's just she nineteen. She's beautiful. Yes. Yeah. What what were you like at, at that age? But I married very young too. Did you? Uh, well, yes. Would you have considered marrying at, at 18, 19? But I think that was a good thing for my mother. She wanted uh, at first she wanted that I would be a nun. But when she realized that uh, I was not born for that, uh, then uh, she gave up, and uh, so uh, she was happy that I was married. Yeah. You only married once. Yes, unfortunately, yes. Yeah. Are you still still looking for for me? You know, there are some advantage uh, when uh, you you get married. For instance, uh, you see. Yeah. That's uh, it's a kind of advantage that I don't have. I have always to buy myself my jewelry. You see. What a tiny! You've got a tiny little ring as well. Yeah, but that was my work. So yes, we can go. Yes. <laughs> Like the rock of Gibraltar, that one. Yeah. Are, are you a romantic? Oh, mm, very, very much. She's yes. Italian. Yeah. Italian yes. people are romantic. Yes. Aren't yes, they? of course. Yes. When you see a young girl like Mandy marrying a... an old man like me. No. Yeah, I'm not... <laughs> he's he looks young. young. He looks young. He's got and a picture in the attic. Yes. Yeah. You know, age is nothing. It's what you feel inside that makes you young. <laughs> and he's young. He, well, he, he's not, you know. We, as I say, <laughs> the surgery. I mean, it's a very young couple. Yeah. You had a strict upbringing, didn't you? What? A strict upbringing. A very strict father. Oh yes, I have a very, very uh, um, old-fashioned education. Mm. Uh, my father and my mother, they, they didn't allow me to go to see the movies. Uh, the only films that they allowed me to see was Shirley Temple. Mm. So in uh, Sunday... We had old Shirley Temple on the show. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, on Sunday, the projectionist of uh, Subiaco, where I was living, mm. he was collecting uh, some... Um, he was cutting, actually, the films where I was saying to cut. For instance, I wanted all the case of Curry Cooper, so he was cutting on the film all the kiss after the film was shown. 
uh, the dance of uh, Fred Astaire and uh, yeah. so he put all the clips together for the Sunday morning for me. <laughs> so I, I ruined a lot of uh, films. Movies, yes, yes. for other people. Yeah. <laughs> Howard Hughes was instrumental in bringing you across to Hollywood. Yes, wasn't he? yes. Well, what so sort of a man was he? He was a um, very interesting man, but at that time I was very young and very innocent. Uh, too much innocent. What uh, happened? Nothing. I was there. <laughs> I was there for two months and a half. I signed the contract, but my ex, I was already married. And uh, my ex-husband understood what was going on, and so he called me back home. What was going on? But, you know, he wanted me not just uh, for a contract only, but, uh, you know, he wanted me for uh, forever. I see. He wanted a divorce and to marry me, but... But he uh, went mad in the end, old Howard Hughes. Aren't you glad you didn't? Mm. That's because he didn't get her. <laughs> <laughs> but he tried for 13 years. I must say that he was one of the most uh, persistent men in my life. I mean, to be in love with a woman that refused you for 13 years, it means that uh, he had really a feeling for me. I mean, you can understand it. Uh, I don't know. There, there are other people uh, that I met that uh, they just uh, ran away after a week, you see, but uh, he was uh, very persistent. I don't, I don't believe it. <laughs> Who ran away from you after a week? You see, the men, they are much more difficult than women. They are jealous. Is he jealous? Yes. <laughs> Are you jealous of Bill? No. That's my opinion. No, but uh, well, the, the, it's a jealous. different jealousy. Is what it? I mean is jealousy of the success of a woman. Oh. They need more a dependent woman than uh, a woman that is independent. So an independent woman, successful woman like me, is not very appealing to a man because he feels... Uh, not so secure. So that was my trouble. That's why I didn't find another uh, available uh, man. I'm available, but uh, you know. <laughs> back, back. <laughs> we were talking before you came on about <laughs> about, uh, about Errol Flynn and that long kiss where you gave him jaundice. Oh my God, that was really funny to see on the screen. <laughs> not knowing uh, what uh, was uh, behind uh, the screen because we started a kiss and then uh, he got ill. <laughs> and he got a, a joinness. How do you say the joinness? Jaundice. Mm. Jaundice, yeah. yeah you, you affected his kidneys in some way. <laughs> <laughs> not really, I think it was because of the dream, not because of There he is, the me. poor man, just before he got jaundice. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, after one month, he came back. Of course, he was very thin. And at the finish of the kiss, anyhow, he was so thin. And the public thought that was because, uh, you know, I really uh, yeah. destroyed he, him. He'd yeah. lost weight during the kiss. <laughs> it's extraordinary, good way to lose weight. Kiss Gina Lollobrigida. He, uh, he, uh, he was nice, he was yeah. nice. Yeah, we have a little picture of you in action, if we may, uh, with Peter Lawford. Oh, get off. No, in uh, in a private life, I'm uh, I'm uh, uh, worse. I'm not so nice. Oh, <laughs> no, you're not as gentle as that. Yes, no. exactly. No. <laughs> Did Peter Lawford catch anything from that? Uh, <laughs> no, I had three men, uh, the, the, so you know, it was not just him. Oh, I see. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I don't think we can go into that. Now, <laughs> you, you must have had your pick of leading men. I mean, you worked with Tony Curtis, Bert Lancaster, yes. Humphrey Bogart. Yes, yeah. Humphrey Bogart was, uh, yes, my first uh, American movie. Were they all keen to take you out? All keen to date you? Uh, to be... Uh, no, because Bogart was already busy. Yes. With uh, Lauren Bacall. And Bert. Uh, uh, Bert Lancaster, uh, he was not busy, but uh, we were uh, all day long, those Hawaii to go in the evening together. Yeah. Uh, and what about Tony Curtis? Did he? Tony have... Curtis, he was quite nice. Uh, he was very pleased to be in the movie. Mm. Was uh, his first uh, important movie, and uh, he was very gentle with me. One t one day he came with a big package, a Dior big package. I thought, my God! And then I opened, and it was a fair. I said, my God, how much you spend? It's too much for me. 
And then I realized that it was a coat that he bought in a free market. <laughs> but flea, 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 flea market, flea. market yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I wear every day. You know? I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any fleas on it? Uh, but in the circus, uh, I didn't mind. Yes. Uh, I I like the circus so much. This was that, for trapeze. Uh, yes. Yeah. I I adore to to work with Carol Reed. Yeah. Great director. Was a fantastic movie, and even today, when you see this movie, is uh, not aged a, 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 nothing. You know, you see the movie after many years, and when it's good, it's good. Yeah. It's you, one of my best movies, uh, and I had uh, good memories. I have to say that, that uh, like Bill, the years have been very kind to you. You, you haven't aged at all. Have really? You? Yeah. Well, I mean... I look okay? <laughs> from where I'm sitting, you look okay. <laughs> yeah. Have you any word of advice for... I to know you've couple? only married once, but have you any word of advice for the, for the happy couple? I don't think they need an advice. They look happy. They are nice. I wish uh, that you will be together for uh, forever. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's very good. It's, it's a very good feeling. And shock the I'm world. I'm happy for you. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're, we're all happy for you, and we, we wish you every happiness. We hope Thank that you will have a happy married life. Well, it's been about the hardest thing we've ever done in our lives, I think, to actually yeah. endure what we've had to go through for this. Well, you, you wait until you're married a little longer. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Not as hard as you think. Gina, it's a pleasure to see you again. Thank Last you. time you were on, four years ago, we were only able to talk for about four minutes. Yeah. But this time, we've been able to talk and listen to you. Thank it's been you. a great pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Gina Lola Bridget. <laughs> So our thanks to Gina, to Bill, to Mandy, and congratulations. And I hope you'll join me next week, but my guests will include the charismatic Billy Graham.